prayer and fasting will empower you and give you authority over the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It'll build your boldness. It'll build your confidence. It'll, it'll, it'll give you a new rank in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Why did the deaf and dumb spirit hear and obey Jesus' command? Hallelujah. Jesus was able to speak deliverance and receive a response because he had intimacy and oneness with the Father that gave him the authority to where even the deaf could hear his, his voice and immediately respond. Hallelujah. And he is now charging us to do the same. Hallelujah. He wants us to have intimacy. He wants us to have oneness because there are some things that you need to open your mouth and speak to. There are some mountains I'm on, that you need to speak to. Hallelujah. That will succumb to the authority of Christ that's in you. But he needs your ear so he can get in your mouth. Give God your ears so he can get in your mouth. Ah, glory to God. Glory to God. Hear on another level so that you can speak on another level. So that when you do declare the word of God over your life, things begin to shift. Because it's the right word of, of, of God over your life. Sometimes we're declaring scriptures and things that God didn't even tell us to, to, de to declare in our atmosphere or to declare over our lives. You know, I never told you to declare that. I never told you to say that. We got to overcome the deaf and the dumb spirit. We got to overcome it. We, we, we shall overcome it. How about that? And the way we do that is getting back into a oneness and getting back into an intimacy with the Father. Getting back into prayer. Getting back to fasting. 